Hey y'all, welcome to day eight of Bend and Snap. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about the penle row. Ray's gonna step up, he's gonna get his feet set so they're right underneath his hips. He's gonna pull shoulders down and back, get his core nice and tight, tension throughout. He's gonna hinge from the waist, keeping those knees right over the heel. He's gonna bend down, grab the bar, and he's gonna make sure he locks his lats in place. So he's pulling that bar back into his shin. And from here, he's gonna pull the bar up to his sternum, pause for just a second or so, and then return with good control. Now, he's still using his lats all the way through, all the way up and then all the way back down. If your lats are not active, it's gonna be very hard to keep that bar in close to your body. So we're gonna use our lats to pull back and up. But if we're not actively engaging the lats, that bar is gonna pull out and away from where we want it, and now we just added a ton of more weight on our back. The key here is just pull the bar to your shin, keep it as close to your body as possible, all the way up, all the way back down. What we wanna stay away from in this movement is doing any sort of kipping penle row. <laughs> That's no bueno, don't do that. Cool, and then if you struggle with getting set mobility-wise with a nice flat back, you can prop your bar up on top of some plates and take it from there. So now we're just meeting you where you're at. Have fun working on this this week. You can throw it into warm-up, strength piece, finisher, whatever you would like, but practice this and really Feel what it feels like to use your lats and keep that bar in close to your body. And we'll be building on this in the next few weeks. So have fun. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>